Whoa! Whoa! Was that Paul Revere? Oh wow, Thomas Jefferson! And Benjamin Franklin! It looks like I've landed in the middle of the revolution and straight into historical fiction. Huh, this is great! What is historical fiction? Well, the authorities don't really agree on this one. Some say historical fiction is fiction written during the present about people, places, and events of the past. Others say that historical fiction could also have been written as contemporary fiction during a time that's now considered the past. Either way, historical fiction is about the struggles, conflicts, emotions, and day-to-day -day life of people who lived before us. You may be wondering, how long ago is history? For all practical purposes, the past is considered history if it occurred at least one generation ago. It's important not to confuse historical fiction with biographies, which allow readers to experience the life of a single individual. It's the Liberty Bell! Sure, you can learn a lot about history from textbooks and other non-fiction sources, but historical fiction gives you more than just the facts and statistics. Readers get personal, first-hand accounts of exciting moments in history. They experience all the sights and sounds of events through the eyes of the author. <laughs> Whoops. Authors of historical fiction create authentic settings by carefully including details in everyday life. Ah. Homes, methods of transportation, clothing, and even food must be accurate for the time period. While reading historical fiction, you may find yourself helping to construct the Great Wall of China, or rowing a boat across the Delaware with the first president of the United States. The most interesting characters found in historical fiction are well-rounded, complete with virtues, faults, noble motives, and inner struggles. You may read about people who really lived, fictional characters created by the author, or a combination of the two. For example, the novel Ashes follows a fictional character, Gabby, and her family living in Nazi Germany during the 1930s. The book features 19 historical figures, including Albert Einstein. The plots in historical fiction often address the social problems or controversial issues of the time, such as women's rights or slavery. In Bicycle Madness, a young woman speaks out for women's rights in the 19th century while learning how to ride a bicycle. Chains and Day of Tears address the issue of slavery in the late 1700s. It's important that authors write plots that explore every side of these issues, allowing the reader to experience an unbiased story on sensitive, controversial, or even painful topics. There are several themes that are common in historical fiction. For example, Readers can learn about the clash of cultures in stories such as Worlds Apart, in which an unlikely friendship develops between a Native American boy and a young colonist arriving in South Carolina during the 1600s. Another theme in historical fiction is the human cost of war. Private Peaceful is the story of two brothers who enlist in the army and soon learn the terrors of World War I. A third theme in historical fiction is the quest for freedom, as seen in North to Freedom which follows a 12-year-old boy through his escape from an Eastern European prison camp during World War II. Overcoming hardships is another common theme. One example, The Door in the Wall, is about a child in medieval England who's taught to overcome his illness through strong will and hard work. Readers of historical fiction should keep an eye out for anachronisms. That's just another word for inconsistencies that occur when authors misplace details in the wrong time period. Anybody need a pen? Anybody? You, buddy. Wait a minute. Ah, that's better. Historical fiction can really make you wonder. How much of this is true? Some stories are so convincing, readers wonder which events actually happened and what characters really existed. Authors often explain what's fact and what's fiction by including an author's note. Make sure to read it so you'll know for sure. Well, it's been a big day in historical fiction. Visit your local library or bookstore and check out the fiction section for more stories from history. Later, fellas! <laughs>